Hey everyone, this is Dana on the scene for the Rogers Review. We are on the final day of Shirley 43. Now, can you believe it's been 16 years since this man has been to Shirley's Hall? The last time he was here, I was just coming back from Hawaii and I got to meet the wonderful Chief Tyro, Aaron Douglas. How are you doing, Aaron? I'm great, end of con, so I've got the end of con voice. Yes, dude, I think you got the great, smooth, kick-ass reporter's voice. I don't love it. Oh, okay. A reporter's voice. I like that. Yeah. There's a crash on the I-95. <laughs> Absolutely. So how does it feel to return to shore leave after 16 long years? Uh, I Somebody asked me about shore leave a few years ago, and I went, and every time I, I, I hear the name, I, I, I have a very fond memory of it. I have very little memory of it, but I just know that it was a good experience. And so to get asked to come back and... To be able to do uh, our first con together, just Grace and myself, it's the only two from Battlestar, is uh, it's the only time we've done this. Uh, it's been an awesome weekend. This is such a good con. Uh, people talk about the, the Comic Cons and stuff like that, but that's more for press and it's just sort of like Dance Monkey Dance, but this is you get real quality interaction with people who love the show and you get to talk about the show and talk about what people do and and uh, yeah I'm, I'm having a ball this is a great con so anybody wondering whether to go to a con like this go to shore leave it's really really good and I could definitely agree to that 100% now it's been nearly 20 years we're coming up with the 20th anniversary of bow stark Lanta, groundbreaking series for sci-fi channel how did you earn the role of chief Tyro in the first place uh, just like you roll for everything else. I auditioned, I auditioned for Apollo, didn't get that. I auditioned for Gata, didn't get that. And then uh, there was just, somebody said, what about this Aaron Douglas guy for this role, Chief? And they said, yeah, that sounds good. So it, it's pure more happenstance than anything. I think it's David Icke kind of just pulled me out of his ass. So. <laughs> Absolutely. And what were some of your fondest memories or do you have a favorite Tyro moment of from the series? Oh, there's hundreds of them. Um, I, uh, one of my favorite memories is working with Mary at the end of Dirty Hands, and it's the president and chief are just uh, sitting quietly and chatting with each other, and we shot that scene for four or five hours, and Mary is the best actor I've ever worked with and, and just the kindest, sweetest woman. So uh, that's a big standout. But, yeah, there's, I mean... We are literally a big happy family. We still stay, all stay in touch. It's the only cast that I stay in touch with from any of my shows that I've worked on. So, um, yeah, it's a it's it's a special show for many many reasons. Absolutely. And another role that you're known recently is Motherhood. I mean Motherland, Fort Salem, which you played Colonel Jared. So tell us about that role for those who have never seen the series. Uh, he's a bad man, um, but uh, I got to work with Catherine Logue Halquist, who's a friend of mine, and. Uh, She's just terrific. So just her and I being silly on set. And uh, uh, yeah, Motherland Force Salem, it's, uh, it's one of those kind of alt, alt universe. Uh, it's our world, but if something else was happening. Uh, yeah, I, I just, I, I enjoyed that because of uh, my friendship with Kat and, and she's terrific. Excellent. And you just recently had two um, Lifetime type movies out. One of them was The Wedding Cottage and another one you actually got to work with the Batwoman to Vincia and Leslie. Tell us about those two films that were released recently. Uh, yeah, The Wedding Cottage with uh, Aaron Krakow from When Calls the Heart. Aaron and I are buddies on set. She's awesome. And uh, that was very sweet. That was for Hallmark. And then uh, Not Out Yet is Buying Back My Daughter, uh, directed by Troy Scott, who was the third AD on Battlestar Galactica. Oh, wow. He's now a director, and uh, he's a good friend of mine. And so it was the first time that he and I got to work together in that capacity. Uh, that one's a little bit dark. <laughs> it's uh, for Lifetime. Uh, and then I did uh, Candace Cameron Bure, nice. who used to be with Hallmark. She's now got a, her own channel, Great American Family. I did a movie with her called My Christmas Hero. So that'll be out, you guessed it, at Christmas. And it's very sweet, and she is so lovely to work with. Um, yeah, that one will be one of those uh, get you right in the feels. Absolutely. And I understand you're a hockey fan. You love to play as a goalie. How's your team doing this season? Uh, well, it's, nobody's playing right now because it's the off offseason. Um, right. My team is the Vancouver Canucks, and they suck. <laughs> Uh, I want them to sell the bloody team to somebody else. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, it's tough being a Canucks fan. For all you Canucks fans out there, you you get it. You get it. Just a dumpster fire of an organization. 
Try being a fan of the Washington football team. We haven't won a game in over 30 plus years. A yeah. basketball team and our hockey team and our baseball team, but football team, no, no. Yeah, no, I, I feel you. I'm a Raiders fan too, and that is, that sucks sometimes too. So, but eh, you do what you do. Absolutely. So, what do you like to do when you're not traveling to the conventions and you're meeting your great fans? Uh, I play with my dog. Uh, I putter in my garden, and I golf. Golf. What's your um, handicap? I just got back into golfing a couple of years ago after about 20 years off, and so right now I'm about a 12 or 13. So it's coming down, but it's, I got to get trying to get back to what I was when I was younger. Absolutely. Now, I remember reading a tweet of yours not too long ago that you called your character the ancient Ron Swanson. And I'm a big fan of park recreation. I want to know what it is about Ron Swanson you feel he's the ancient version of your character? I love Ron Swanson. Me too. It's one of the greatest characters <laughs> ever created. That show is just so good. Uh, <laughs> My friends literally call me Ron. Um, I just, uh, he's a build it um, chief, just went off to Scotland and made stuff by himself. And I feel like that was what Ron Swanson would do. Absolutely. And my last question is this, since it's been 20 years since we've seen Battlestar Galactica, what do you think Chief Tyrol is doing right now? If you had to write the story. Oh, he's, he's just in Scotland, wandering around in the mist and helping people out when they get lost. and. Uh, he lives in a small castle and, that he built, and he makes whiskey, <laughs> and uh, he just herds the cows and the sheep and just lives his life, goes about just being himself. I really think he's out there. I think he is, people, too. People have spotted him from time to time. He's like the Loch Ness Monster or Bigfoot. He just Or Elvis Presley sightings, you know? He's a mythical creature. So I think we need to do a show where we go find Chief. I like that idea. Yeah, if there's a fan film creator, series creator that's interested, please give him a call. Give let's, Aaron a call. Let's do a Kickstarter and do yes. a uh, mockumentary about Chief living in Scotland. If anybody wants to do that, I will do it with you. I mean it. As, and speaking of which, where can people find you if they want to follow you, follow your convention appearances, or your future Hallmark movies? I'm on uh, Twitter. Uh, I don't know for how much longer. Uh, at the Aaron Douglas. Uh, Instagram is the same. Uh, the best resource for me, though, is uh, 80 Fans. My friend Michelle runs uh, a Facebook uh, thing for me, uh, a Facebook page, and uh, she is just the font of all knowledge of everything Erin Douglas. So she knows things that I'm in that I don't know. Uh, she knows when stuff's coming out that I don't know. So uh, yeah, go to the Facebook page, Erin Douglas' Fans Facebook page. It's exceptional. And all I ask, please don't make it another 16 years to come back to Sherweep. If they ask me, I'll come back next year. Absolutely. Well, Aaron, thank you so much. Thanks, Appreciate buddy. it. Yep. And we're going to have more from Sherweep 43, Dean on the scene for the Rogers Review.